need to implement a virtual network pairing solution. The solution should address transit and connectivity concerns. So, first of all, to do this, they said it has the, the companies are the company has deployed services into separate virtual networks. So let's just assume the company is serving, like they said, they have several units that are, that as they have you need to have have identified services in these virtual networks. So that means we do want virtual networks. We have some uh, some um we are maybe we have we have some we have some server we have web server application server or stuff like that yeah in there. So what we need to do is we have to first of all pair the common ones together that has the company we put them together that have the same similar um job to do like the end server the front server the end uh, server the app, app web, uh, web application is uh, uh web application i mean sorry web server the application server and the other I forgot the name of the other one server database, database server database server yeah so that in, in, in that one so we connect them to we make sure they are in the same Please, right? Yes. So, so in order for them to communicate with each other, mm -hmm. I think we need to create a subnet. So what about subnet is that? Huh? What type of subnet is that? <laughs> We say what type of sub <laughs> that was a very good question. Um the type of subnet mm -hmm. we can create. Ah, uh, I don't know the type, but I know we need to co 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 uh, so we can I think we can use class A or something like so that. What the, so what's the function of the subnets? If you know the type, at least you know the function of a subnet is is it's it's it just uh it's just what we create. It's it's it, 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 uh, it's uh it's a net it's a it's a it's a Actually, subnet is just a sub subdivision of a sub of, of a IP, a broad yeah. IP. that will have to break it down. I agree with you. But the moment okay. you mention subnet, you are like creating. You already have your apartments, your house, and they have been divided into different rooms and you know usage. So imagine you now decide to say, okay, I want to add subnet to here. You decide to now. You know, you cut your your parallel to two, and you put another divider there. So you created a subnet, like a subnetwork. So, so we don't need subnet, right? I'm, I was only explaining subnet to you. So oh, okay, okay, okay. we have a bar line of thoughts in you know. law. A uh, subnet is 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 just a uh, it's just a net. It can be it can be as well to be uh, defined as a network inside a network. So in other okay. words, for, for them to be able to communicate with each other, that means because it, there's a broad network and then we want a subnet. So that means we create subnet for each of those uh, units. Okay. Using, um, ah, what is the name of this thing that you said? Uh, uh, what does it do? It allows communication between a uh, uh, network, the back end and the front end stuff like that. Uh, okay, so thank you, Mr. Abukule. Thank you for that elaborative, you know, exposing this. So, Mr. Shion, can you read and also explain to us?
Is Mr. Shun there? Hello, Mr. Shun. I think he's stepped out of. Uh, okay, so now this is you already know. Chatting is the thing you are looking for here. Uh, Uncle Kule is simply yeah. pairing your network. He's simply pairing your network together. You understand? Uh -huh. So yeah. you are pairing your network together. Even if the workload are similar or they are not, you've already, you know, pure them, pair them together. All right. Let's go into it. So perhaps the simplest and equivalent way to connect your VNet is to use VNet pairing. The virtual network pairing enables you to seamlessly connect to Azure virtual network. What peer? Once paired, the virtual machines appear as one for connectivity purpose. Okay, so now, once you pair this virtual network now, it appears as one for connectivity purpose. So there are two types. You see that you are pairing at the regional level. You pair regional VNet pairing, connect Azure and virtual network in the same region. So when you are doing region pairing, you must make sure that the, what's it called? The resources, you know, the storage account is available, you know, in both, in both, in that same region. I do believe that you are trying to, you know, um, set it up. Then the other part is global virtual pair. So this one connects Azure Virtual Network in different region. So when creating a two a global pair, the peer machine network can exist in any of the major public cloud region or Azure Cloud region. But in government cloud region, no. So what they are trying to say here is that um, our virtual networks, you know, can also be deployed into different, into different, uh, different region. Okay. Okay. So they can also pair them together. So when you are pairing with Venus from one region to another region, we 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 are basically, you know, flouting the law. So now. When you peer, when you do, when you peer from different region, you are just giving it more global presence. So that's why they call it global. There's nothing, it's not too limited. So now look at this diagram. So now you have a region there. Then you have two different regions there. Of course, separated by regional virtual pair. Then the region between one and two means that there has been a global VNet pair. You understand? Know, the idea is there will always be a problem for me to solve. You know? Okay. Yeah. You just hold on the means. Okay, I'm back, sir. 
So that's the idea of global pen. So it becomes global when when you are peering from either from East US to West US. Yes, okay. Yeah, understand. But okay. if we are on Venet, we are East US, and that's a regional pair. So it's in there. Okay. Now, benefit of a so global is like different if you are different, uh, different, uh, you know, continue, no? um, location. Yeah. No, sorry, uh, yeah, region, yeah, region. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I mean, my sex, you have to go. Oh, my God. So, the one in different locations. That's the way I say. Now I will call it global unit peer. So, what are the benefits? So, the benefit of using local or global virtual network peer include private performance, communication, and seamless. So for private, it means that your network traffic can be paired between virtual network and very private. So the traffic between virtual network is kept on the Microsoft Backbone network. So basically all the traffic is routed through Microsoft, Microsoft Backbone network. That is, um, there's a network of Microsoft that runs from East US to West US. That runs from West US to East West West West. Okay. The to Central US. So it's like so. and only keep me. You know? So that's what they are just trying to say. You can use their their which is from the global VNP, which is different when you are wanting to region together. Then performance. Yeah. What is that, sir? Most of it okay. Oh, all right. So the next one is performance, which is a low latency and high bandwidth connection between resources in different virtual networks. So the low latency is very good. Why? Because the speed at which the data travels. You know, it's very, very important. So the lower the your latency, the faster and the faster, the better that um, um, this is you. So it speaks directly to your performance. So low latency simply means there's a very low delay. In the latency the is fast for that. Sir? So? Well, let's make the test is not dragging. We could drag. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the low latency means there's an initiative distance. And there is more. Then communication, the ability for your resources in one virtual network to communicate to your resources in different virtual networks. So, we also do that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We have seamless, which is ability to transfer data across Azure, across the different, different deployment models. So that's what they just uh, they need to tell us. Then there's no description, no disruption. Okay. So let's move on. So. Now the next one says the timing gateway transit and connectivity need. So when virtual network appeared, you configure a VPN gateway. We have discussed this over and over again. 
you know, there was really between the two because now this virtual network appeared. You know, so so you can go a little bit gateway in the in the period in the period virtual network. So as a result of points, you so in this case the peer virtual network uses the remote remote gateway to gain access to other resources. So I think I would like to one side. Okay, so now there's a look at the main network. The main network has so if you look at this diagram, this is an architecture of a particular you know environment. So they seem to have fit in all uh, some of the wrong errors. Okay, so let us do that is V1 and V, v, V16. So we have 10.1.1 and we have 10.2.0.0. Okay, so so please let's look into this diagram, it's very important. So I would want us to I want to screenshot this. So it's the same thing, the same thing. So now look at this. Please, I need to be sure that you are hearing me. So one way or the other, this 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 subnet has its own IP. This subnet has its own IP. Okay, so now okay, so if you look at this one now, you already have all this label. So 10.1.0.0. Okay. 10.2.0.0. So now, if you look at this diagram very well, please, I want you to special this diagram. Okay, I want you to special that, that diagram. Okay. So now you have three virtual networks. So have you taken this screenshot? Yes. Okay, good. So Kule, have you taken the screenshot this was long? So now let me explain this again. Now here is the net networking in Azure that there are countries, you know. So, um, okay, so now let's look at the diagram that you, you screenshot. Of course, we must always. Okay, so now you have a central. You have a central um, how record now, central site where you install all your configuries into. So just that um, this time around, there are going to be more and all of that, and and people like you who are working, you know, in this environment and within the environment will be called for interview. So now look at the main network. Look at the main main network. Only ten dot zero dot zero ten dot three dot zero dot zero. Okay. 
So inside the general network, you have your network virtual appliances, which is this one. Then you have your, your virtual machines. Then you have the VPN gateway itself. You know, so and you know that at this point, it is what you said to this VK that you can always be talking about. Hope you understand that. So the one with 10.3.0 is the one we are using in the office. Okay, I'm just giving an example. So you now say, oh, that's why I'm unable to log in or pay out. You only have one child. So you, you do that. So now another virtual network in another area is another area is um, what's it called? So now if you look at this diagram now, there's an action between them. What action? Okay, so All right. Let me see if I can reduce the size of this one. Just a minute. Okay, so we already know what this worker is doing and how you can how you can also talk to them. So don't forget to patronize that line. So let's look at your VNet no longer. So what does it mean? So here are stops, steps to configure Azure Net, Azure VNet PR. Ah, okay. So VNet PR, notice you will miss two spinal vena. To tell the parent, you review. Okay. okay, so now let's create a virtual network. So there are some tips to creating virtual network. So notice you will know you will. Okay, so here is the here are the steps to configure vision pair. So notice you will need two virtual networks to test the to, to, to test the printing. You also need a virtual machine for each day. So your time starts now. Initially, a VM will not be able to communicate if after that. Yeah. If he feeling water congregation, the milk congregation will be working. Okay, so all right, so here you have create new virtual machine, peer the virtual machine, then create the machine inside the and also create the tests. OK. Now these are the tips and some of the, some of the robots that you have to go through. You know. Okay, so now in creative virtual network, let's let's follow this rule. So here you are going to create the virtual network, pair them together, you not create a network again, then you not test communication. Okay. So this is not you know 
So we can just decide to, you know, to, to, to create a new machine. So when you add this pair of strings together, the circumferential screen of the relation is automatically you know, in there. So I want to ask more questions, OK? And then help us to drive this close to conclusion of the discussion. All right. Do you understand now? So, that's it. Okay, so now said create two virtual network, create a VNet, then create a virtual network in each VNet. You understand? So, Okay, so um, you are also making more researches about my mother. So we have four out of zero for you. Okay, so to test the configuration of the parent, you must eat at printing, please. Okay, so to configure the PRN using using ND connect, so there are only a few words, few operations can go. All right. Okay, so um, this is what you are really going to be learning. So. Or you you will you will learn it you learn it by you know you learn it okay so um, so scroll down let's check some of the albums all right so to configure the pairing of the use which is at pairing there are only few configuration pattern. So we have the virtual network, the pairing link name, okay, traffic to remove virtual network, so we allow some, we, we did also. Oscope, Oscope my day. Mm -hmm. Let me check this next slide. Okay, so to configure the peering in the Azure prescription environment, there are only a few options of a cluster. Okay, so the first thing here now is to create a virtual network. You already know how you do that. So now, when you get to networking, Let's say you are trying to appear. You click on allow, and then click on another allow again, and then you, you use the default. Okay. So let's practicalize this. So quickly. So please go to Azure portal. Go to your virtual network. Let's do this one. Can, you can also share your screen because you need to share your screen. Too. Okay, so look for virtual network. So you have, so what type of networking can you create with this network? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Não é para a nossa milícia. Okay, so these are your virtual network. And then the first one, ADVM, is in North Central. The second VM, is the 104 is in East US. So others are also in East US. So European, you will have a ship for, for this. And then, boom, boom. Yeah. So like you are, you are going to pick two. You have to pick two of two of so just go to Vinet one first. So click on Vinet one. Let's so create virtual machine, create virtual network, PA the virtual network. Create virtual machine in each and test communication. Okay, good. So, configure the following in the admin section. The only two optional configuration files that are possible. So, this virtual network will play them. So, a school of salary there, you see that appear. Or you can search it there. <laughs> so this is very easy. It has not been paired before, and no one has ever been paired with it. Okay. So let's see. So provide the provide the name of the link. So they are saying at the parents get started. You can click on this. Yes. It gets started with at the parent. Exactly. So this is where we are going to. Okay. So you can provide the parent link link here. Um, and do training others called peer or peer others called training. So you already know you did this while you're doing it. Okay. So now that you have supplied that, the next one will be block all traffic. So traffic to remote virtual network. So you are going to click allow default. So leave it as allow default. So traffic forwarded from remote virtual network allow. And then the third one, virtual network gateway. Then click on none. So, can you help me now? So now, with this, with this particular one, that she is in, we now go to remote virtual network, peering link name, remote virtual network. Okay. Uh, what could this be? Remote virtual network. Uh, this is funny. Let's go to the idea. Okay. Anyway, we just go. Okay. 
Okay, so the only, the only thing missing is the is what now? Scroll down. Okay, so let me check again. Okay, scroll down. No, no, you don't need to scroll down. Be by a pain link to you. Provide the pain link. Let's say you want to use virtual network. So I'll write something like that. So let's see, be yeah, peer underscore. Let's see, virtual network too. There's anything like that. Okay, so now I think I'm going to leave it in resource manager. Uh, let me check. Okay. Then scroll down. So click on I know my resource ID. Uh, oh, sorry, uncheck that uh, because it's actually us. Yeah, this was like uncheck. So click on your subscription. Okay, the boss appears as good, right? Uh, yeah. Then click on uh, uh, this. Okay. So pick your virtual network, that should be VNet1. Okay, so let's say different virtual network. So pick a maybe VNet2. Uh -huh. Add to this, okay. Um, allow block. Okay, so click on hard. <clears throat> and that by saying on this thing. so but look at it your gateway transit is disabled so which means you might need to deploy a gateway a gateway so basically the way we buy is disabled the name of the pairing is appearing the pre the prepping status seems to be something wrong with it okay so what we want to do now is to try and enable this so we might have to take it to a vpn layer you know Okay, so click the dots at the other end there. And the dots. All right. Um, we need the gateway transit is a so LOC charge TP. Ask questions like my gateway transit is disabled. In my virtual network PI. Okay, it is enable in my VNet PI, in my VNet PI.
Sauf que là, on est en train So what are the instructions? So if you're expressing issues with gateway transcript being disabled, you have an appearance, there are few potential causes and solutions you can explore. Here are some stuff. Here are some stuff seems to be taking troubleshooting the problem. So we revive VNet PN configuration, ensure that the VNet PN it's currently configured between the two units. Check the configuration. Oh, number three now. Number two, check the configuration. Check the network P2 configuration. Okay. So gateway transit requires a virtual network. network. Okay, gateway transit. Requires a virtual network using a computer in at least one or more virtual network. Make sure the, the network uh, Okay, so what else here? Yeah? The VD permission and rule ensure that you are on the Verify next of the text. Okay, okay. verify virtual network with SQ. Certain virtual network with SQ do not support. So to ensure that you are using with SQ to support this feature, refer to our report. So now, let's go and create the a gateway and then attach it. Okay, so we are we. So just search for yeah, get to a, no VPN gateway. No, 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 VPN gateway. Uh, are we looking for not gateway? No, is it not gateway? Only lay now, second way. Hey, what your network gets you? Click on it. You can see that it's different from not getting it. So, different. So, what your network gets you? So, let's go and create. Because if you are using your Roma download association, you won't be able to create it. So, now. Let's hold on, open, round base. So give it a name. Okay, it's a Okay, I click on the SKU here. Let's change those SKU.
OK. Generation 2. Scroll down generation 2. Can just pick generation. Can leave it by default. That one also. Just hold on a minute, sir. Okay. So click on the SKUs at the only bullet one. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, Google. Hello. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, can you hear you now? Can you hear you now? Okay. So click outside now. No, do not get there. I see your money. How many do you want to check? I think I did it. So we want to check the SKU. Click on the SKU drop down. The sign of the job. Okay. All right. Um, click outside. Um, wait. I think. I think VPN global colonel colonel me at the. What is wrong with you? Mm, different, different. Come uh, a bit. They have basic standard, so they have basic standard and they have different features. So click on virtual network. So they attach a more. They attach a more. We need to pull a pull a a configure the client. We need to one. We need to one. We Okay, but we're going to one, let's configure on Vinay 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Click on Vinay 2. So review plus create. Call, oh, yeah. Hi, Pingo. Who's the system one? Oh, that's great. Um, on Create a new one. Okay, just do pairing IP. Well, it's going to be like gateway. Just put gateway IP instead of here. That's what it's known for. Okay. So this is a standard. Scroll down. Okay. So, all right. So, leave the publicity. Okay. Until second public appearance. Fle, fle, fle. Leave that one alone. Leave what? 
Okay, this is a second public IP address. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Provided. So what should I provide? Just write gateway IP2. Just like the course, okay. 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 Yeah, that's all. Okay, so. Trust you. Yeah, it's good answer. I think I trust you. Your availability zone. I don't know. Click on the drop down and let's see. Click on zone redundancy. Okay. So click on review plus create. Let's see if this works. Can you more listen? I saw an error. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So we need we don't that love student cannot be empty. Okay, I see the first one. Mm -hmm. So you can create this one. You can create. Sure, I'm putting you. Are you kidding me? Can you plan in No, I'm not sure. I'm we will be one hour so. Because we we can't. Because we might teach at the Lossy Church Lola very early. So then I want to, I want to go and sleep so that I can have enough rest. So I just came to the last day of the Lola. I pray so that I just do like one or one or two hours. So you want to go and sleep now, right? As in right now, so I'll jump to the bed. So I can. Thank you for understanding. I was about to ask you, are you okay? Because I see that. Uh, yeah, I'll be. I just. Uh, on and off, on and off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 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 <laughs> I was telling you the other day, money me more be she rest like oh rule one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 You know, you Okay, you don't live about you know, like my administration. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to
because that would be like 3 3 3 pm so so no matter so that would yeah what that my parent unya unya yo la unle o eh ishere ishere aba ishere aba all right sir